Right, I am Kenji 3001. I'm going to show you how to use the Unreal Editor. Which is basic things for now, and probably my next tutorial I'll show you more advanced stuff. Right. Just use the Renex front end, start editor. I've already got it started down here. Right. Right. Take you for the basic layout for now. I mean, this is a generic browser. It's, this is where everything is. I mean, everything from just uh, sounds to your power plant, power plant, obelisk store, purchase terminals, refinery. Some things you have to load, some things you don't, because not everything is included in the INA files. But don't worry about that. It's quite easy to understand. Right? So you got doors. You have to fully load these though. Take bridge, fully load. And there you go, you got textures, you got meshes. Stuff but we'll show you how to add them later. Well, I would get rid of that, but it seems to not work. So let's dump it down there for now. Yeah, there we go. And when you start off, oops, you'll have four windows. Me personally, I only like to use one unless I'm doing some really fine stuff. Right, so. Right. So, basic navigation. Hold both your mouse buttons down and you can pan up, down, left and right. Hold the right button down and you can swivel on the spot, up, down, whatever. Hold your right button in, or your left button in, sorry. And your right button is doing the swivel. You can go move up, up forward and backwards and swivel on the spot. Basically, easy peasy. Right. All this, don't worry about for now. You get to that later. Right. You got different types of view: brush wireframe, wireframe, and lit, lit, lighting only. Can't work all that out. Just mess with them. You can't exactly go wrong. Speeds. Seems like I've smooth. Oh, say that. Sorry. Slow lines. It's a bit faster. And faster again. Depends on if you're working on a big map, small map. If you need to get somewhere fast. Right. Anyway, that's basically it. And, uh, if you're making a Ren X map, you're probably going to make an outdoor map, so. Let's make a train. Train's easy. Right, open a generic browser. It's down here. And. You can do this one of two ways, but I'll show you the easy way to do it. Right? You to fully load that. Fully load, you got all this. All these little circle things, these spheres, are your textures, materials. Well then. So, if you load that, when you go to make a new terrain from tools, new terrain, right? set your sizes. 64 is always a good start. Right, and you got hundreds of trees, well not hundreds, you got about 20. Mm. And I'm going to go for dirt, Seb. So, there's my. Well, it doesn't exactly look like dirt, does it? But I can change that later if I really wanted. And I've got a lit, so it's all gone all black. Oh, what's going on there? Like, uh, you need to add a light. So, for now, I just add a skylight. So if you've got actor classes in your generic browser, and find light, extend it all, and you should see skylight. Extend that, skylight toggle. Okay. To add this, just right click on your terrain, add skylight toggle. Yeah, toggleable, toggleable. <laughs> Can't even say it. Right. Toggleable. Yes, I'm. Right, and now if we go to that, it doesn't look any different. View, 
active properties. So it's because we got that highlighted, we have that active property. Now if I get that and no, train properties, so go back to that. Light. Extend all that. Disable, enable, no, it's on. Right, um, where is it? It's got lighting channels. Right, make sure you have dynamic on, otherwise, you won't be able to see the, the doors, uh, C4, stuff like that. Right. So, let's just change the color. I don't like. I'm not a fan of white at the beginning. I change it to purple. So uh, looks a bit crazy. So up oh, there. Bit easier on the eyes. Well, I say that. <laughs> anyway, there's a train. Don't need that. It's all sorted. Hmm. Get a little mountain, mountain terrain. How hard is that to forget? Right. In here, you've got a load of tools. You know, these are all your tools. Your paint tool, which is probably the the one you're going to use the most. Right. Strength, depending on your strength, depends on how much it pulls. You've got your radius. You can see that. Oops. If you scroll out, you can use a scroll to zoom out or up down with your two mouse buttons. Right. You can see what's going on. But also got a fall off. You see second circle? It's your fall off. Don't bother with that for now. Right, when I'm playing with terrain, I, I like to have wireframe on so I can see what's going on. Right. You know it's if you click, it's just moving around. And so you got to hold in control, the control key. And so, um, click. Left click pulls. Right click pushes. And so it's just. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Okay, I'm only doing a tutorial. Yeah. See, it's all jagged and icky. I use the word icky. Yeah. Right. Right. Um. Right. It's all jagged. You can smooth it all out. Like that. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Use the word fun. It can be a bit tedious. <laughs> And say if you got a point that you need elsewhere, you just use this tool here, just flatten. That's exactly what it says on the tin. It's a bit like run tool. There you go. Sometimes, sometimes it can be a bit hard to see, so... It is nice to add a point light, so if you right click, add a point light. Oops. There we go. I got these. That one moves. That one swivels. That one scales in unison. And now scales are non uniform, so you can scale just the sides, the top, or whatever. Yep, that's practically it. And you got dark light on one side, dark on the other. It's just to help find the edges. Sometimes they can merge into each other, especially when you haven't got wireframe on. See, anyway, 
page. Make something quite big. Ooh, not that big. What's going on? There we go. Got this funky little thing here. It's called average. Well, if you look what it does. Make a ramp. If my PC would behave. You can sort of all out. There. Okay. Yeah, that's basically it for terrain. Well, unless you want to add a second train. Okay. What's it called? Material. That's something totally the opposite. Like that. Right, you just click it. Right click in here. Add a layer for material. You get a little ball. The best thing. Right. Save that first. So you can save it all into the map. So you can get files here, there, and everywhere. If my computer would behave. Yeah, here we go. I just saved my desktop and I got a whole list of maps that I'm working on. Two. Yeah, there we go. So, put that there and there again. That texture. New terrain. Set up layer. Package two. Name. I just call it one, but you can call it anything you like. Preferably what it is. It should pop up again. Okay, can't use dots. Put one one. Whatever. So I'm not bothered. Don't need that anymore. Right now, it's called paint for a reason. Control left click to paint, control right click to take off. And take the strength down. And feather it all in. And another thing, if, if the any computer can handle it, uh, I've got quite a beastie uh, GPU in this. But it does tend to milk it a bit. Tessellation. You see all these little triangles? You can add more basically. See? And it will just smooth everything out of it. Do some more. Do some more. But I won't go too overboard with it because it will really milk your PC and anyone else's PC that play this. Basically, if it's raining. 